Well, Riyadh Kahwaji joins me now from Dubai. He is the director of the Institute for Near East and Gulf Military Analysis. Thanks so much for joining us. The Gulf states are uh, mostly cheering this decision by Trump, mainly Saudi Arabia. Why was this anti-Assad airstrike good from the Gulf's perspective? First of all, it is a retaliation to a horrendous action by the regime. It's time for the Western world to take a stance, a clear stance, on, uh, on Assad and his uh, uh, brutal and bloody actions against his own people. Second, these are countries, that the, mo the majority of the Arab countries have taken a stance against Assad from day one. And they've been calling for the removal of this regime. As you know, Syria, the Syrian regime, has been expelled from the Arab League. The, the membership of Syria in the League of Arab States has been suspended uh, ever since the start of uh, the uh, revolution uh, in Syria. Uh, and therefore, uh, we have this positive reaction from Arab countries that have been pressing the U.S. and other uh, and the allies uh, to take more proactive military action uh, against the Assad regime uh, to help uh, uh, in ending this uh, conflict and at least achieving a balance of power uh, after the regime has received uh, strong military support from uh, uh, Russia and uh, Iran. Uh, this strike sends a clear signal that with the new administration, uh, we could see now uh, a, a clear change in Washington's policy. Uh, um, um, and, you know, especially this administration, where the president during the uh, elections, uh, he was uh, uh, distancing himself from any action against Assad, and now after this chemical attack, uh, it's become clear that this administration has once again adopted the policy of uh, Assad but go. Okay. Riyadh Kahwaji, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us with your insights from Dubai.